Hi guys, this is a quick tip. If you've ever been editing 4K footage in Adobe Premiere Pro and you need to render to preview something and the preview quality has been terrible, this is how you fix it. So as you can see right here, I've got some 4K footage and I've got an adjustment layer and I've also got a little bit of text animation that's coming from After Effects. There's a red bar across the top, so I know that I need to render that for it to preview back to me really smooth and brilliantly. So I hit enter on my keyboard. I quickly render this one clip out just for this demonstration purposes. And if we just make the screen big and I play it back, you can see it's a lovely shot of Venice with a piece of text that says Venice and you can even hear my voice going, wow. However, as you can see, the edges of this text are not very crisp and the actual footage itself on the playback is a bit fuzzy and a bit duff, even though the resolution is at full. Now, why could this be? Let me show you. If you go to sequence, sequence settings, you can see the video frame size is UHD, 3840, 2160. However, the video preview size by default is iframe only MPEG, which is 1920 by 1080 HD. So why is this important and why would we change this? Well, firstly, the video preview is set to be smaller so that as you're generating preview files, they don't become too big. The file size doesn't become too big. It also means, as you saw, I could I could render this really quite quickly. And with my, uh, with my mono program monitor here quite small, you can't really, really notice the difference. However, if I blow it up big, you can see it's a bit fuzzy and a bit rubbish. So even though it's important whilst you're editing to keep the preview size small and so you can play back quickly, I for one, when I'm editing 4K footage, I wanna play it back in 4K, especially towards the end of the edit where I might need to show it to my boss or I'm just one of those people that's a bit of a 4K snob and for me, I know this could look better. So how do I change it? Well, I select my sequence I go to sequence, sequence settings, and then I can change this to anything I want. I personally choose GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit because it seems to work very well for my Windows PC based system. It doesn't matter really what you choose. However, what's important is that it matches your footage 3840 by 2160. I hit OK and it's going to pop up telling me that by changing the preview files, all of my existing ones will have to be deleted. Now, for me, this isn't a problem. I want it to play back in top quality. And at this stage of my edit, I just wanna make sure it's perfect. I've done my editing, so I'm happy to click OK. Now you can see I've got a red bar across my project, across my sequence, so I need to render again. It's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm creating a bigger, more complex file. However, then I'll just mute that for a second so you don't keep hearing me say, wow. I'll play it back full screen. Suddenly, the text is loads more sharper and more crisp. The footage is clearly, as I want to see it, first rate quality. And for me, I'm happy. My only downside is I'm generating bigger preview files. But as I said, towards the end of your edit, when you've done all your hard work, you're confident of your grade, you're confident of your text animation, which for my clip here, I am. I change the sequence sequence settings and the video previews to a preview, sorry, to a bigger size. So that I get that delicious top quality, which is great if I wanna, if I wanna show the video to someone else and for them to be wowed before I export. So when they're sat next to me, not now, but if it was, if there was no social distance and they'd be sat next to me and I could show them this. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please subscribe, please add comments. And if you've got any feedback or questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And thank you and happy editing.